Welcome to Adventures with Carol. I'm Carrie. I'm Errol. And together, we're Carol. Yeah! And this is Blue, our 1965 Chevy C. I'm Carrie Keegan. Carrie Keegan. Carrie Keegan. Carrie Keegan. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your host, Carrie Keegan, everybody. I've interviewed basically every celebrity you can think of. She's known for her irreverent interviews, we'll call them that, getting more than 9,000 celebrities to curse. I was a YouTube celebrity before anybody gave a shit about YouTube. I had my own morning show on VH1. <laughs> And I published a book. The book is entitled, Everybody Curses, I Swear. I'm Errol Calandro. I'm a well-known motorcycle photographer. <laughs> Shop for some of the biggest brands in the world. But I feel like a blue song. My face twisted in my wrist song. Been internationally published and just kind of all around just gearhead. It was Instagram. <laughs> okay, she's right, Instagram. Basically, I was just scrolling through and I landed on some really awesome motorcycle photos. So I started following EL3. And... Which, by the way, I thought was an absolute joke. Why is this gorgeous girl following me? She's just gonna unfollow me. Who does that? Obviously, you didn't. I, I didn't. But anyway, he slid into my DMs one day. Yep. And, and the rest is history. We're here now. <laughs> so I invited Carrie out to Joshua Tree for her birthday. with the truck. We had a small photo shoot. And we started talking about building the truck. And How great would it be to rebuild this truck and drive her across the country? So I posted the photos on Instagram and that's when Eckler's Automotive reached out and said, you know what? We love that idea and we want to be a part of it. Best partnership ever. Seriously. They know everything about classic trucks and they have all the parts we could ever need. And then some. Thank you, Ecklers. Thank you. So now we're rebuilding blue, and we're going to go see the country together. Together. Classic Chevy trucks are super popular right now. Just in 1963 alone, over 480,000 rolled off that factory line. So that means they're pretty easy to find. They're also really easy to work on. Seriously, if one more person tells me how easy it is to do this, what are you complaining about? It's really easy to find parts for them. Want to show them what we have? And they're very inexpensive, which I love. And they look really cool. <laughs> they do look cool. Not as cool as me. Okay, you. Basically, these trucks were built to carry really heavy loads and to never break down. Our goal is to load this truck up with two motorcycles and travel the country. He says so casually. Uh, ah, fuck it, if it breaks, it breaks. Exploring the country on four wheels and on two. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been obsessed with, well, really anything with wheels. My grandfather had a riding John Deere lawnmower, and I thought it was the coolest thing on the face of the planet. I begged my mom to take me to my grandfather's house to see this John Deere lawnmower that I could pet. <laughs> I was just absolutely in love with this little thing, but sadly when my grandfather passed away, my mom and I moved to Arizona and brought the John Deere tractor with us. We didn't even have a lawn. I successfully took off the mower blades, and then I tried to take it apart to make it go faster. Well, it was in pieces, and I had no idea how to put it back together. I wasn't mechanically inclined, nobody in my family was mechanically inclined, so it just sat there in pieces. Basically, rebuilding Blue is going to redeem him. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Before I went to film school, I worked at a hot rod shop. I bugged these guys for two weeks just to give me a job, and they did. I learned how to sweep floors, I learned how to wash windows, I learned how to change toilet paper, but besides that, I learned so much. I learned how to rebuild an engine, I learned how to grease wheel bearings, I learned how to sandblast, I learned how to wet sand, I learned how to change brakes, and being able to learn that and bring it to this build now is absolutely priceless. And I don't have a clue what you just said, and that's not okay with me. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I bought a red 1964 and a half 
Ford Mustang that I saw sitting in a parking lot. I knew nothing about cars. I knew nothing about classic cars, but I laid my eyes on this beauty and I had to have it. My grandfather worked on the line at Ford for his entire life. So I named my Mustang George after my grandpa. George was as beautiful as he was broken. And the mechanics saw me coming a mile away. They would tell me one thing was wrong, fix another, and then charge me triple just for the pleasure of doing business with them. I was in way over my head. I had to sell George and I ended up selling him for way less than I bought him for. But it was that moment that I knew one day I was going to have a second chance at a Mustang. And this time I was going to be able to fix the damn thing myself. I'm learning how to rebuild this truck for women everywhere. By the grace of all women everywhere, I have a belly! Who are too intimidated to go to the repair shop or even get their oil changed. Automobiles are not this black hole of the unknown. And it is definitely not a boys club anymore. <laughs> Sorry, honey. We're rebuilding blue from the tires up. Everything from the engine, transmission, brakes. Who's mad at a ball joint? Suspension. Interior. This is going to keep you really safe. Oh, yeah. Back up. All the new glass. It's weather stripping, door panels. Power steering. This is getting replaced. This is getting replaced. Vintage air. Wiring. You're supposed to get rid of all the electrical first. The bed of the truck. Do we build a dance floor in the bed? Do we know what we're doing? Nope. Do we have all the answers? Not even close. But the fun is in the learning. And the learning is the adventure. <laughs> you want to see more? Follow the Rebuild of Blue at Adventures with Carol. Do it. <laughs>